Hello, hi, I'm Patricia McNeely. I am an illumined Blu-ray twin flame from Chicago, Illinois. How are you today? I hope everybody's holding up pretty good with all these energies. Uh, today I want to talk to you about a few things. I'm talking about a week in advance about the equinox here. I'm calling this fling into spring. I'll tell you why. But I know in the southern hemisphere you're going into autumn. And again, this is going to be where we have some of that action going on. few things to know. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of this energy can make you feel anxious. It can make you feel like, can maybe make you feel like this, like you've got a propeller in your chest and it's just going right here. You can feel anxious, you can feel pressure, and there are reasons for that. Some of you are literally about to take off here. And that's a good thing. You really are. You really do have your propellers and your your flight parts of you ready to continue. Some of you are just feeling anxiety. You're feeling anxiety from the collective. So, a few things I want to talk to you about. This is the great equalizer. You are seeing now the final death throes of the electric. 3D masculine and feminine and you're seeing it in advance of the Mars retrograde which is in April and the Jupiter retrograde already started and that is going to go direct in May and these are significant times for twin flames what I want to let you know is I'm going to talk about it as it has to do strictly with twin flames this is um, not so much about the astrology, but there is a planetary influence and there are reasons for it. Why do we have these planetary influences? And in some ways, anybody who has dragon energy will know sometimes the connections that they have to the elemental realm, the uh, water realm, the air realm, or the earth realm, fire, and we're getting out to the cosmos again. So you are seeing the death throes of this. What does this look like? This could actually be people picking fights. It could be you noticing passive aggressive behaviors. It can actually be uh, some of the things in your family that may have gone unnoticed. And some of the things to know about it are what will you do? Are you still having reactions? That's an important thing to know. What are, what are you doing with it as other people, as you see some of this? Now, here in the United States, we have several significant events coming up this week, which is why I want to talk about it. We have a presidential election. The primary, the main primary is next week on Tuesday. And without getting all into it, I want you to feel, if you're an American, feel if you should vote. I highly suggest participation. Without participating, you don't really get a voice. But you have to feel that and you have to feel. There's, uh, there's, there's things that are showing up there where one person, they could be the poster child for the death rows of the masculine. They may be vocalizing some things. And some of it is stuff people don't want to hear. Some of it is things other people have been too afraid. The, the main thing that's going to happen here for Twin Flames is we are bringing an equalizing effect, a balancing effect. What's up is now down. All that glitters is not gold. And you're seeing some of this in advance of the Mars retrograde. Okay? You are also being catapulted forward. You are catapulting, sorry I misspelled that, catapulting forward those people, those people who have best prepared, um, those who prepared will feel the best through this is what I want to say. Those people who have really prepared themselves, you will feel best as things are catapulted forward. This is us. Uh, some of the things that happen with this equalizing is sort of like 
tipping things over where you get a critical mass and it just takes on a momentum and it keeps going. And that's important to know. You'll feel it. Other people will feel it. We are still peeling away from the collective. So there's going to be some people that stay put where they're at. There's going to be other people that don't know what's going on. There are people that may feel anxiety. They sense something. They want to hang on. They want to keep grabbing back. It could be right in your household. If you're living in a karmic situation, you may see it again and again. I encourage you, do your best because the time is going to come where the wind is under your wings and it'll be time to get out. Now, what does this also mean for twin flames? This means equal awareness. So those people who've been saying, What's up? What do they know? What do they don't know? Should I send this to them? Should I clonk them over the head with something? No, you don't. What I encourage you to do is keep your union flowing in a natural manner, but you do keep expecting things to continue progressing, progressing along here, we want progress. This is it, the equal awareness where the twin feels the experience. They feel and they experience. What are they experiencing? They're having some of the same experiences as you, maybe in a slightly different way. Some of you have had, say, you know, several years of your awakening process. Your twin is actually going to have that in a very compressed time period. Another thing to know, um, you have, uh, you've maybe seen me uh, present this in another one of my videos where I say, which, which, team are you, which team are you on? Sorry, where is it here? Which team are you? Okay. I want to tell you something. You're all bringing something to the table, but there is a sequence of events here that is occurring in an order. And it may feel both urgent and like you're waiting. And what happens with nature? I mean, you could use the analogy of gardening. If you are gardening, you actually do have a time when you have to actually wait. You can throw miracle grow on it. Some people are trying to throw miracle grow. And um, it will be a very proactive way to do something. So the team pink, which is that part, sorry, you can't really see it there, there. Team pink, which is the deep part of the cosmic sacred heart where you have lovingly brought people along, helped, helped in any way, helped through music, through art, through teaching, through healing, through children, uh, helping the aquatic life, helping the environment, and also... My personal favorite, Team Red, the ones bringing the passion back. And you are bringing passion back first and foremost into your union. So the equal awareness where the twin feels and experiences and has similar enough experiences, dreams, information through the heart. And how do you get that? Well, some of it, just so you know, those people who have bought my webinars... They have been lovingly gathered, and the information comes through the heart from a higher level. It's not so much what you're reading and taking in. It's the vibration that you're absorbing. There is a transmutation effect that takes place during that. You also will have um, people where they start to understand what is going on in the bigger picture. Now, part of the process is it might feel like this boom, bang, or people have to dismantle their life or parts of their life, break up, say goodbye to things. That is a part of the process. I want to let you know something. Some people will feel the wide open spaces. And that space, if you have children or if you have people near you, it's important that you comfort them and be gentle with them, especially children. The children may not have a context for this, but their little bodies are going to go through this very rapidly. 
They may sense things, dream things. They may have nightmares. They may be ascending through parts of stuff that is the mental body as well. And you have to reassure them and take good care of them. That's a very fine balancing act. And I want to let you know something. This is, this is a really big thing that is happening because um, you've seen me use this before. This was something that came in the mail and this actually was something that I used as an illustration for the four corners of the universe. And you're tucking it all in. And your union, which I'm going to represent with this, this is particularly true of people that are rod and staff unions. You're going to pull everything lovingly in. But it's going to be the good stuff. It's going to be what you want to keep. That's why the purging process is still continuing. We are not taking things that are useless to us. So the, the parents who are the twin flame couple, you know, they've been on this planet. Let's call it Mars. Okay, I know it's not red, but for this purpose, we're going to say this is Mars or Jupiter. And they have been there. And they are going to bring their energies away. But their energies are huge. When we fly together, we wrap ourselves in all the colors that we have. And we travel like this. We also have lovingly brought our children to a point. So the parents are actually, they're twining together and they are loving each other in the colors and they are bringing all of their loving creations, including children. Now, the feminine counterpart has usually reached the destination and that 3D masculine whether it's uh, 3D masculine or 3D feminine, so we could, you know, they could be in two different places. He is lovingly saying, here, take care of the things. I'm coming. I'm going to wrap everything up around us so that we continue going upwards and ascending. And many of these couples do have what I call dragon energy. Uh, red dragon. This is uh, Rufus. Anyways, you have had, I illustrated a few videos ago where you have uh, the masculine who, or feminine, who has been lovingly healed of many times traumatic damage. Now you have a situation where what's going to happen in April? We're gearing up for it here. So this fling into spring where we get everything through, we are bringing in the ocean of love. You are the water bearers. Twin flames are the bearers of love. You are the bearers of the watery, emotional love energy. But without people hanging on you, the only people who've been actually nearest or closest to the couple is actually going to be, the closest ones will be the immediate, usually children. Everyone else has to be somewhere in the outer rings away from the couple. So the wide open spaces around you require discernment of what comes near your union and what doesn't. And as you two come closer and closer and closer and closer, and you envelop in the love that you are together, wrapped and bathed in every color that you have, even if what your expression is, is one, per, you know, even if you say, well, I know that I'm uh, red or I'm a pink or I'm this or that. Many people will know what they are. Some people don't know what they are, and that's okay. That actually comes through readings. When I do the reading, it's like your heart energy screams it to me. What is, what is, who am I? I let you know, there's no holding back. There is actually a lot of information that comes through. But if you're struggling, if you're finding that this anxiety and you're struggling with why are people behaving this way to me, I want to let you know something. 
And I'm saying this because of a uh, concern for people. There are times on this journey where it may seem like everyone is against you. It might seem like people hate you. Nothing you do is right. Don't give in to a sense of inadequacy. Don't give in to the futility and the fatalism that other people may have. For a lot of you, your twin is giving up their death wish. Your twin is giving up some of that tough, brutal behavior. And you're saying goodbye to it forever. It's not going to affect you forever. You have to continue feeling. When it comes to other people, you'll know who your friends are. You'll know who your support team is. You'll know that I want you to know this will pass. You will pass through this time of feeling like people are somehow against you, don't like you, don't understand you, don't get you. We're going to be coming into a new level. In fact, I, I personally am very excited because I feel the potentials of so many things through people's readings of what they'll do, what we'll bring here, the innovations, the fun, the adventure, the romance. This is romantic. Anybody who has dragon energy knows how passionate and romantic that part of themselves is. But is it here for a public display or, to, or, or is it a spectator sport? No, it's not. No, it's not. Be willing to close the door on things that need the door closed on them. Be willing to close the door on the 3D when you feel that it's the death throes. Be willing to be flung right into this timeline here. I want you to be ready for April. April is the time where we are bringing in the brand new love energies of the central sun that the new earth has become. And there, yes, will be people that don't understand it just as much as there will be some of you elevating to with your twin and having lucid total recall. I thank the brave people who've really stuck it out because you've written to me and let me know how you're together with your twin. And I really appreciate that. And I actually, um, I know I sang in my last uh, one, actually got several messages about what's happening here. But some of the really uh, sweeter ones, well, they're always sweet. I had um, actually over at the bus stop on my walk seen two hawks. And I think they were a couple, but they came and they landed on the tree. And immediately got the word overseers. That's what some of these couples are. They're not direct overseers. They actually are the ones whose energy oversees and overlights things so that it really is a good, about as good a process as you can. And uh, I found a white feather outside my front door when I went out today. And you know, the feathers mean flying away to me. That means flight. That means going to the next dimension again because I've been there. I've actually been going there several times. There are some of us who will guide and teach and do new things. I am one of those people. And I'm proud of it because I've put a lot of my um, energy I have, uh, it's taken sometimes hours, it's been several uh, months putting things together. If you are having uh, a rough time of it, I want to tell you about a couple of my uh, webinars that will be helpful for you. It's going to be my uh, the one from January of this year, Surrender into Full Union. That is still valid, that still has a lot of helpful things in it. And again, I'm going to mention it. The May and June, um, May was daily living in multidimensionality. And June was being in the new life. Those have wonderful information for your body, 
for trimming down these ascension symptoms, for getting it down to a science, because this is not a one-time event. You have to get used to your new life body. You have to be the one to start working it and not doing it like, oh, gosh, bumpy, I went through, I went through a new moon, and, whoa, that was like a dark night of the soul. Get these so that you can learn how to skim up and over it. Get these so that you can know some better ways and open your channels and have some ways that you, given by a Blu-ray because we've already paved the way, can do this. I will also be coming out very soon with uh, my March webinar. Won't be ready until next week, so I'll have an announcement for that. But um, when you have this and you have energies where you're literally pulling everything in, that is intense to say the least. If anyone recalls the April Cardinal Cross of 2014, where each one of these points, I did this as a cross, I did this in my last video, air, earth, fire, water, okay, and the love. And you are titanium. Your love is the strength that you need. What we are doing is that April Cardinal Cross is being pulled in from the four corners of the universe and you're going to re be feeling the new earth energies and you're going to open and expand. You can't continue to live in boxes. You can't continue to live in an old karmic situation. If you feel like you're done with your job and there's something calling you to do it, a new business, a calling, um, if you feel that you're here to do something. I also do coaching for that. Um, what I kind of can consider inside me as abundance coaching of how would you start how would you start that ball rolling? How do you make the transition? This is a big transition time for a lot of people. And it's a good time. If you're in a karmic relationship, you're gonna find that that thing just flatlines. And you may wind up feeling depressed. The depression is not your twin sometimes. What that is, is your channels are being constricted. Your soul wants expansion. Your soul wants to go back out again. And so what do you do about it? Find out. I covered that. I'm covering more in this upcoming webinar. It's been a series of... Um, leading up to this point, beyond this, there are still things. There's going to be new babies. There's going to be new ways. There will be things that you're able to do that others would call miraculous. So what I want to let you know is it's going to still be an intense week next week. But do your best to get through it. We are literally getting into the time frames here that we've been talking about for a couple of years. I've blogged about it as far back as uh, 2012, written things. I've run workshops way back in 2008, and I do know what I'm. I do know what I see. The pink heart energy. It's actually the well is moving. You have to find the well in your heart. You have to find the love in your heart. Many people might feel like there's a pressure on their heart. They can't feel their twin. Even people that have uh, lived in the house, if the world is getting to you, get my daily living in multidimensionality to find out what do you do on a daily basis to keep the energies up and that you know, not feel squished by the world and like you're depressed. So thanks so much. I wish you to have a wonderful week. It's going to be very interesting. Um, there's a lot that's going to happen. I do have more to talk about. I am a teacher and a guide, and mostly I care. I lost someone very dear to me uh, last week who was like a second mom, and yet 
because of my gifts, I was able to feel her and her delight at being out of this body very quick. You're going to see some people almost like animals where their um, illness goes very quickly and they pass over. And you may miss them. We don't miss people. We catch up to them. So find out what you're going to do with your twin in terms of going to the next dimension. We're going to have a lot, a lot of delightful things happening here. Thanks so much for watching. I really do appreciate. Thanks to everyone who has bought my stuff. I really do appreciate it. And it, it, thanks for the great feedback. It's been wonderful, and it just helps me keep going because I really feel this. I really, really, really want to get home, just like a lot of you do. I'm doing my best to like get us home. And thank you so much. Bye now.